want to show you a very cool book. This book was used for the United States Armed Forces Institute, and it's a calculus book. So this is actually a book that was used to either teach people who were in the army calculus or maybe prepare people for the army. I don't really know. All I know is that the United States Armed Forces Institute does not exist anymore. It's actually, it's actually gone. And it was an educational organization that was part of the United States Armed Forces. I don't know really much about it. It was founded in 1942 as the Army Institute, but it is no more. So I'm guessing that the people who used this book were actually using this book um, to learn calculus and they were in the Army. So this is a book that the United States Army uh, used. You know, they used this um, to teach calculus, I guess, to other people in the Army. Elements of the differential and integral calculus. Yeah. Let's, let's take a look at it. There's something else really cool in here. Let me show you this. This is awesome. Well, I don't know if it's awesome. It basically says that the book is not for sale. It says, these reprints are not available for sale by the superintendent of documents, nor may they be sold or distributed on the civilian market. So, you're not, so yeah, hardcore, right? So... I got this used um, probably for, I mean, it was really inexpensive. This book is widely available, I think. And it's one of those like older calculus books that's very available and very easy to get and very inexpensive. I'll try to find some links and put them in the description, but it's not, it's not hard to find this book, I think. And it's not like super expensive. You might even be able to find this copy. I, I don't know though. I don't know. This is the Army manual, <laughs> it's pretty, well, army version, right? The army version. Let's look at the contents. Differential calculus, so variables, functions, and limits. Differentiation, rules for differentiating algebraic forms. Various applications of the derivative. So far, this seems really in line with um, what is taught in Calc 1, right? So if you're taking Calc 1, uh, actually this book covers everything for Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3 actually, pretty much. There might be a couple extra things or a couple things missing, but I would say it's comparable to all three courses, the content of all three courses. Successive differentiation and applications. So like maxima, minima, second derivative test, Differentiation of transcendental functions and applications. Cool. So just some derivatives. Applications to parametric equations. Differentials. Curvature, radius, and circle of curvature. Theorem of mean value and its applications. We have integral calculus. Formulas. Definite integral. Integration, a process of summation. That's when you... Um, you know, do things the long way. You, know, you take um, the limit of the sum. And that's the definite integral. You you do that actually in Calc 1, at least in the U.S. Centroids, fluid pressure, and other applications. Some Calc 2 stuff there. Series. Okay, so you've got series. You also got some DEs in here. That's pretty cool. Hyperbolic functions, and you know a lot of the big, thick, modern calculus books also have DEs. So this is very in line uh, with um, you know like other big modern books like the Stewart book or the Larson book. Partial derivatives, applications of partial derivatives. Okay, and then multiple integrals. How much do they do there? Yeah, I mean they have quite a bit. Yeah, theorem of Pappas. Cool. Then you've got a bunch of tables in the back of the book and some curves. Let me show you. That's really interesting that they have that. So. Tons of integration tables in the back of the book, right? So tons, just tons and tons and tons. Do not mess around. The army has to have the tables, hardcore. And then here's all these graphs. Look at this. Like, wow, right? Curves for reference. Like, you know, you're just like, okay, yeah, just, just, just in case you need to know, right? Like, you know, you're working through the book and like, oh, that's a cycloid, vertex at origin, ordinary case. Yeah, wow, right? Cool. Very nice. Really interesting. Curves for reference. So this book has good examples. 
Okay, it has good examples. It has good exercises. Um, one of the things about this book is that, like, the answers to the exercises. Well, let me just show you. Like, it's weird. Like, sometimes you have them and sometimes you don't. Uh, for some of the problems, like there's some there. It says answer. You see, but you don't have it for all the problems. Just some. So it's kind of interesting the way they do that. But it's better than no answers. And when you do have them, you have them next to the problem. So it's not like you have answers in the back of the book. So they did it a little bit differently, uh, these, these authors did. I think it's interesting that this is the book that they used, um, they chose to use. And I think it's interesting that the contents of this book are, are just shockingly similar. I mean, it's just shocking to me, uh, to the contents of modern books. Let's check the date on this book because it is kind of, that's kind of peculiar. It's, it's, it's a little weird. I mean, I have older books and a lot of the older books, the contents don't fit this, right? They're a little bit different. This one, it seems to have like a lot of stuff in it. Can't find the date. There's no date on this. Mm -mm. 1947, right there, that's what it says there on the form. Application for United States Armed Forces Institute test, printer type. Wow, what's this? Name. Grade, rank, or rate? Date of birth? Whoa, what is this? This is really cool. I wonder if like I could fill out and apply. Well, I guess it doesn't exist. <laughs> so, certificate. It's, I've always wanted to like do that. Sometimes they have like mail-in things in old books. Like, oh, mail this in and receive a free kit and learn how to do magic. Or, But you probably wouldn't get the kit. Certification. This application will not be honored without the signature of a commissioned officer or school official. Wow. Hardcore, May 1947. This is this is post World War II. Well, here we go. End of course tests. When you have finished this course, you are entitled to take a United States Armed Forces Institute end of course test. I'll just say USAFI, <laughs> and to receive a report of your score on the test. USAFI end of course test may be obtained as follows by students enrolled with USAFI. If you receive this book for individual study through enrollment in the U.S. Armed Forces Institute, you may obtain end of course test by sending an application, okay, tear out test application blank or in the absence of application blank in this book, ask your information and education officer or your educational service officer for an application blank by students enrolled in locally organized classes. If you receive this book through enrollment in a locally organized class, you may apply for end of course test through your instructor. Ah by other students <laughs> if you're on active duty okay and obtain this book by any means other than enrollment you may obtain end of course test by using application blank in this book or in the absence of application blank in this book write to the commandant u.s armed forces institute madison three wisconsin or to the nearest overseas branch wow wow really interesting stuff interesting stuff oh here here's the copyright okay so 1941 no oh, even older than that why the older yeah so this one was 41, I guess, maybe. And then, yeah, wow. Really old. Really old book, right? So it's it's really peculiar that the content in this book, I think, is is so similar to the contents in the newer books. And uh, I, I don't know why. It's it's just peculiar that, that there's such a similarity. It's not, it's not perfect, obviously. I mean, it's not exactly the same, you know, the contents. I mean, this the explanations are going to be totally different. And you're gonna get you're gonna get some different stuff. You'll get different examples. You'll get different exercises. So it, it is different. It, it is different. Like what's this? The oscillating circle is identical with the circle of curvature. Limiting point of intersection of consecutive normals. Okay, and so that might be stuff you see, right? Might be stuff you see. Physical signification of the constant of integration. Hmm. Yeah, so interesting, interesting concepts. What's all this stuff? Let's see this. Here's an example. Illustrative example three. Wow, what's that? So we have an integral here. Wow, okay. It's it's 2x dx over x squared minus a squared to the two-thirds, and we're going from zero to three. Here the function to be integrated becomes discontinuous. Where x equals a, you can't see it because the book, there you go. Oh, you can see it. 
for x equals a, that is, for a value of x between the limits of integration 0 and 3a. Hence, the above definition 3 must be employed. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so you break it up. Yeah. Cool. And the integration is, uh, they don't show the integration. I don't know if you noticed that. They just integrate. Um, because it's it's an easy integral, right? You, you know, to do the integration, um, you, you do a u substitution there, right? So to get from from this step to this step, they don't they don't they there's a big leap there. There's a big leap, and they don't they don't necessarily show that. So, but that's something that you would like fill in. At least they show the rest. And then here you have some exercises. And you have you have the answer already because it says work out. You see how they do that? So it's like you have the answer because he, because he says work out, he's giving you the answer. So it's just kind of nice. So you can check your work. Yeah, kind of a cool book. I like this book. It's got good examples. It's a good. It's a solid math book. Um, I, it's just this copy is extra cool because it's reprinted for the United States Armed Forces. Anyways, I will end this video. And just say thank you for being a subscriber. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Good luck.